All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So as you guys may know, your boy's been having some pretty good luck recently on the LR Super Saiyan Blue Kakun Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta banner. And when I say pretty good, I mean luck so good that I actually kind of feel guilty about it. Because I know some people in this community have been shafted pretty hard by these guys before, uh, specifically Truth and Olar. I think my boy Olar spent 4,500 stones for his first copy and Truth took about 16,000 to rainbow his. So yeah, for that reason, I feel kind of bad. But at the same time, I have been through my fair share of shafts in the past. You know, I have been through a lot of pain with this game. So I don't feel that bad. Anyways, uh, in today's video, I thought it'd be kind of fun to showcase my 90% LR Blue Boys on this OPS Kamehameha team. Like, this team is just unfair. Like, there's no event in this game that can really stand up to the team, and we're basically just gonna destroy everything in our path, which, you know, is kind of fun sometimes too. So, uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it and annihilate every single stage of Goku. All right, so unfortunately, it looks like our rotations are all out of whack. We do want to get the blue boys with UI Goku and then the two Vegitos together. And uh, we don't have either of those things going on here. So it's going to take us a minute to sort things out. So what I'm going to do is uh, put the blue boys actually at the end so we can get them together with UI on the second rotation as quickly as possible. And this attack is not going to be that impressive, but it should still be a good amount of damage. We've got eight orbs, just a 12 key super though. Let's see what they can do. You know what? This might be better because we can start with them, you know, at one of their weaker, you know, in, in one of their weaker states with a 12 key super. And then later on, we can see them linked up with one of their more optimal linking partners, which is UI Goku, and uh, also with an 18 key super. So, yo, you know what? That That is actually a little bit more damage than I thought it would do. So, a good start. A good start. All right, so let's let UI get at least one dodge here. Build up that attack and defense a little bit more before we get to MUI, where we can't dodge anymore. And we'll be able to get the Vegitos together too, probably within two more turns. So, you know what? It wasn't the best start, but we're also not off to the worst start either. Got a dodge there with UI. And yo, when this guy's fully stacked up after like, how many dodges is it? Seven dodges? I think he's maxed out after seven. He is doing so much damage. Like I was shocked by how hard he was hitting when he was fully stacked up. Cause I recently got the second dupe, right? And then I gave him some skill orbs. And this guy's attacks that went up to like, you know what? I'm gonna keep it to myself for now. I'm gonna keep it to myself for now. I'll let you guys see what his attack stat can get up to when he's fully stacked up. So one dodge so far. We need, I believe, six more for the full passive. Uh, let's put Gohan there. We do want our Gohans to super a couple times too, so they can build up their defense. You know, even though I'm floating them. I still want them to be fairly tanky, right? Because later on, you know, the Goku is going to start hitting pretty hard. Not hard enough for us to really worry. Like, I, I still have full confidence in this team to beat it with, you know, beat this event with no items. Actually, I, I have no item because if I pop even a single item in this run, I'm going to get roasted so hard. I know you guys are going to make fun, make so much fun of me. And my reputation for, like, how good I am at this game has already taken a hit recently because of the International Tournament of Power matches on 59 Gaming, right? I mean, the Global versus JP thing, I mean, looking back now, it just wasn't a great idea to start with because JP obviously has the clear advantage with like, you know, all the new units and stuff like that. And even though they recently changed the rules to where JP players actually can't bring JP first units or like units that Global doesn't have yet, it's already too late because my last match with Nolar, this man brought a rainbow tech LR Jiren for the full power match, right? And that's just not fair. Let's be honest, that's just that 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 is just unfair. Like Jiren is literally top three best unit in the game, maybe top one to some people. Right? Some people would argue that he's the best unit in the game, and I respect that too. I can totally see where those people are coming from. 
So with that said, this man had a rainbow Jiren, and I don't have a single Jiren, right? Because I'm, I'm on global, and I was like, how is this fair? And then after our match, they decided to change that rule. But by that time, it was already too late, right? Like, I, I, I already lost my match. This guy already used his Jiren, so... While it might sound like I'm making excuses for my poor performance, uh, I think that one is actually justified. I mean, the one, the one against no, uh, not Olar, the one against Talon is inexcusable. Okay, I understand that. I, I cannot really talk my way out of that one because that was just my own idiocy. Okay, I just got way too cocky, and I, I, I was stupid. What can I say, right? So. Yeah, I, I can't really make any excuses for that one, but when it comes to the Nolar match, I still stand by the fact that if all things had been equal, I, I'm not going to say I would have won the match, but it would have been much closer. Okay, it, it would have been much closer. If we had that no JP first unit rule already implemented, I would have done much better. But anyways, um, let's just move, move past that. Okay, I, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. It is what it is. And uh, let's just have some fun with this team, man. Okay, so we're up to 4.29 mil for the for the super with how many orbs? Six orbs, I believe. We haven't been able to get a ton of orbs so far in this run, uh, which is why, you know, we haven't seen any crazy attack stats. But four mil is still good, right? Don't get me wrong. Additional attack right there. Four mil is still good. I think some people, when seeing the initial attack stat of the blue boys, you know, they're not like super impressed because they're like, oh, I've seen units do like five, six, seven million on their first super. And that's fair, right? That, 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 that is a fair point. But you have to factor in the additional normal attacks. Each additional normal, for me, at least in my experience, is doing like 300 to 500k. So you got to add in an extra like 1.1 1. 1 to 1. 1.5 mil. If you get crits, it'd be up to up to 2 million extra damage. So if you yeah factor those in, you're, you're, you're doing like... A lot of damage still like they're still outputting a really good amount of damage um, I haven't seen the recent calculations for uh, the blue boys but I'm pretty sure they're still up there among like some of the hardest hitting units in the game if you guys have those numbers or have those stats feel free to let me know like where do they rank right now you know in the hardest hitting units they gotta be in the top 10 right I'm pretty sure they're in the top 10 if not top 15 maybe either way they're good Either way, they're good. Are they the best unit in the game? No, I would not say they're the best unit in the game. I don't think they're as good as UI Goku or uh, STR Vegito, Fizz, Bootanks, LR Jiren, so on and so forth. But they're definitely in the top 10 for me. No question. Easily in the top 10. And hold on, let me think. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to leave UI there for the dodges. But let's give him just... These orbs. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake, actually. I should have saved the rainbow orbs. That's my bad. Okay, so not going to be a very impressive turn here, but it's okay. We're, we're saving. We're saving the, the most impressive stuff for UI Goku and MUI Goku. Well, we can pop that active skill, bro. Man, this is why I hate UI Goku sometimes. This is why I hate UI sometimes, man. This dude this dude can give me like seven dodges in a row, and then you will get hit like five times in a row after. You know? Like that's just how he, like like I would I would much prefer if he just went back and forth, you know, just back and forth. Like take a hit, dodge, take a hit, dodge. But instead, he has these streaks. Right? And he'll get hit like a ton of times in a row. I'm just like, what are you doing, man? You you have one job. You literally have one job. And he, he just did not perform. Oh, that's 69. Nice. Uh, <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm so immature, man. Every, every time I see 69, I have to point it out. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, just just ignore me. Uh, yeah. What, is, what was I talking about again? I, I forgot. Uh, regardless, you know, even though we've had some missteps here, the, the run overall, I think, has been really good let's 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 make things even more fun let's pop this active skill get our str vegeto going and probably kill the super saiyan blue goku and move on to ui goku and then eventually mui i'm hoping that against ui we take a nice super so we can actually fall below 
50% HP so that once we get to MUI, we can pop the active skill or the blue boys and get their max, you know, damage potential. All right, here we go. Uh, you know what was really funny? Recently, recently, there was one guy on one of my streams that was telling me or trying to convince me that the LR blue boys are actually... No, 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 he didn't say LR blue boys, actually. He said the Kamehameha team. Because so I was talking about how good, you know, the blue boys are on, are, are, are on, like, so many categories. And, like, you know, Kamehameha is one of their good categories, too. And... The guy was like, yo, Kamehameha is actually a really bad category. Or he didn't say really bad, he just said bad category. Right? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, like what what are you talking about? How 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 can Kamehameha be considered a bad or even not good category at all, right? And he was like, well, there aren't that many good supports on it. And I was like, okay. I, I see where you're coming from. Okay, I, I see your point in terms of like, I agree there aren't that many great supports. Like you don't have a, you know, Kid Boo or AGL Turles or even, I, yeah, I don't think there's actually a key plus, key plus three attack plus 40% support on the, on the category, right? I don't think there is. Um, so I, I, I see it from that perspective, but I was like, look, when you have a team with units that are so powerful, right, that tank so well, that link so well with each other as well, you got you got a lot of great linking partners, right? Like the Blue Boys and UI or Blue Boys and SDR Super Saiyan Blue Kak and Goku, or, um, you know, uh, AGL Gohan and uh, AGL Super Saiyan 4 um, Goku, the Vegitos link really well with each other, the cells, so on and so forth. When you have so many good combinations, you don't really need the supports, right? I think supports for categories are most crucial when obviously you have units that don't link that well with each other, right? So you kind of need that key support, especially to get the supers off. And also, of course, if you don't have a lot of shared attack and defense links, then you need the additional attack and defense, right? But for Kamehameha, that is not a problem whatsoever. It's never been an issue. And Yo, I just thought it was so funny, man. I just thought it was so funny that he was trying to convince me that Kamehameha, just because he didn't have supports, is not a good category. Like, that's, that's just crazy. That's just madness. Alright, so we are definitely going to kill UI here. And our HP is still very high. Um, yo, stupid fly, yo. You guys see that? It's a little fruit fly that flew over my face. I'm going to get him. I get you, fruit fly. Okay, anyways, going back to the showcase. Uh, <laughs> this team is too good, man. This team is too OP. Like I'm trying, I'm trying to lose some HP here, so we can actually, you know, get our. Ooh, this is actually good. Uh, I'm going to. Ooh, should I put UI there? I think I'm actually gonna put UI there. I'm gonna put UI there, so we can take the super. And that's gonna be eight key, okay, or eight orbs. Uh, gonna get a nice super off with one as well. I'm gonna put UI there so that we can at least eat a super attack. And that should probably make us fall below 50%, right? And then the next time we come around, yeah, this super, next time we come around, we can pop the active skill for the blue boys and finish UI off. That's the plan at least. Oh no! Ah crap! Yo, we have the we have the int Vegito. Oh, he's gonna heal us back up. That's not what you want. <laughs> that is not what you want, man. This this just speaks to how broken this team is. Like I'm I'm trying my hardest. I'm trying my hardest to take damage, to get the active skill, and I just I, I'm struggling. Wait, hold on. Hold on. <gasps> no! We are right we are right above 50% HP actually. Yeah, we are right above 50%. Okay, this is gonna be tricky though. Cause uh let me think. If we take a super right now, we might actually get killed. Right? 
Yeah, we, we might actually get killed, which is actually kind of a concern. Like, I, I want him to eat a super, for sure. But I'm also a little bit concerned. So... Am I going to have to pop an item? I'm going to have to pop an item. Okay. I'm only... I'm only popping an item because we want to get that active skill off. Okay? Not because I needed it. I just want to make that clear. And we're not going to take those SDR orbs because... That would heal us up, and that is the last thing we want right now, and I'll just give one orb to Goku. Let me just make that clear. We are not using the item, because I need the item. We're using the item just so. Just so the blue boys can get their active skill. Alright, just so we're clear. Alright, we're good. Alright, let's do it. <sighs> now there's also another concern that the... STR Vegito counters would kill UI. I mean, it's probably not gonna happen. It's probably not gonna happen, but there's always a chance. Like, for example, if he crits here and then he additionals and then he gets a couple of crit counters, then it might be good night for. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Another 69. <laughs> nice. Right, there's the counter. It's a good thing he actually didn't eat the one with the crit. And there's another counter. No crit once again. You know, normally I would want the crit, of course, but in this case, I'm actually more than okay with no crit. I uh, got additional for Goku. I don't know why he's trying to show off right now when it's not his showcase. Alright, here we go. Um, We got the active skill. Now let me see. We can get some more orbs. It doesn't look like we can actually get more than four orbs. Uh, it should still be enough to kill him. It should still be enough to kill him. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pop that. I would put UI in front, but I'm actually worried that UI is gonna kill UI now. So, wait, UI is, UI is gonna kill MUI. I'm, I'm worried about that, so we're not going to do that. Yo, I heard some people say that Vegeta got shafted in the animation because his aura is lower than Goku's. And I was like, yo, that's not a shaft. That's just how it's supposed to be, you know? That's just how it's supposed to be. Alright, uh... Ah, screw it. You know what? Let's put, let's put UI there. And hopefully he doesn't kill MU... Whoa! I made a mistake. That's only gonna be one orb. Yeah, I thought I thought the orbs would drop differently, but I, I think I miscalculated. Uh, that was a that was a miscalculation on my part. <laughs> my bad, guys. Regardless, we should finish UI Goku with the blue boys. If if UI doesn't steal, okay, I was gonna say if UI doesn't steal the spotlight. There we go. All right, so attack that goes to the, goes to the... no. No! Yo! Why? Why? This man just ruined my showcase! Yo, stupid! He actually dodged. He actually did that to us. He actually did that to us. Okay. All right. Well, you, you guys know, like that that would have been that that would have been game over, right? Like that that would have been GG for for MUI Goku. But instead, he decided to die from a STR Vegito counter. I guess I guess he wanted to save face, right? He was like, "Hey, yo, I'm not I'm not gonna die to this unit that you're trying to showcase. I I I, I choose." Death in a different way. But man, he actually did that to us though. This man actually ruined my showcase. Well, you know, that's how things go sometimes. You guys know these showcases are not scripted, right? Like, I just go in and go with the flow. At the very least, we got the active skill off, which is not something that always happens, right? Because a lot of times, I, I just can't fall below 50%, right? Like, I fall below 50% and then I get the Matito fusion or like guys are just too ta are just too tanky you get some orbs and you heal up beyond 50 percent so like that's happened a lot to me right so 
at the very least, we got the active skill off. We didn't get to, you know, complete the attack. But, uh, it's better than nothing. I guess. It's better than nothing. Anyways, guys, that is today's showcase. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe MUI did that to us, but you guys still got to get a good idea of what the Blue Boys, the LR Super Saiyan Blue Kakin Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta are able to do. Um, keep in mind that they actually have very low level links. I haven't actually used them too much on like regular events. I've just been doing like Infinite Dragon Ball History, Super Battle Road, um, Legendary Goku event, which, you know, don't increase your skill levels or your link skill levels, right? So that's why the links are so low right now. But uh, I'll definitely work on them, maybe get them to link level 10 into a showcase at that point. We'll see. We'll see if I can stay consistent. But uh, in the meantime, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are having great luck in your summons if you guys are still going for them. Um, I would probably recommend most people to actually just chill out and stop summoning because we do have Jiren and the Step Up Banner coming up very soon. But of course, it's up to you. So if you guys are still summoning, you guys still want the Blue Boys, then uh, best of luck. Okay, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.